thing about the Sydney Funnel Web spiders is because of their black, glossy nature, sometimes you can just get their entire bodies to reflect in the flashlight beams. And I am seeing a lot of little wolf spider eye shines. Harder to eye shine with the Sydney Funnel Web because their eyes are right up on top of their thorax. Let's cut up through these trees. Funnel web spider, right there. Don't anybody move. Okay, it's hunkered down on the lizards. Hold on a second, I can't get my cube out. Okay. <sighs> my hands are shaking. One thing they say about Australia is that it is the most deadly continent on the face of the planet. And when you're talking about animals, that is certainly the case. We were working at the Australian Reptile Park with a guy named Kane Christensen. His focus is Sydney funnel web spiders, which are in fact the most dangerous arachnid on the planet. A bite from the spider can and will kill you. People are bitten every single year by the Sydney funnel web spider. And the thing that's so terrifying about this arachnid is it's a species that can be found in your backyard. Imagine yourself weeding and you're pulling back some leaves and you put your hand in the wrong place and before you know it, you're bitten on the tip of your finger by a funnel web. Now there is a story about a 12 year old boy who recently was bitten by one of these spiders and it took 12 vials of antivenom to save his life. We wanted to get a full understanding of the venom work that is done at this location. The work that they're doing is crucial to the survival of people that live in and around Sydney. Milking a spider is a pain-free procedure where the deadly venom is safely extracted and is then used to produce antivenom that will save the life of someone that has been bitten by one of these arachnids. Now, when we went into work with Kane a few years ago, I had found a female Sydney funnel web. Is it a male? That's the big question. It is not. Oh! They're potent, but not as potent as the males. And they have to milk several hundred just to get a viable amount of venom to produce that antivenom. Kane pointed out a location to us where he's had success in the past for finding these creatures. We found some small funnel webs, and then we finally came upon a good sized male. Got it. Yes, yes, look at that. <sighs> Lid on. That is a big spider right there. Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness. Okay, we've got a Sydney funnel web. This is awesome. What's most nerve wracking about working with a spider, especially one of this size and this potential danger, is that they're fast and they also jump and they have fangs. Okay, wow. Look at that defensive posture. That display basically says if you don't back up, you are getting bitten by some of the longest fangs of any creature here in Australia. What we want to do is bring the spider back to civilization. Tomorrow morning, we will take it to the Australian Reptile Park. Let's cap it up and call it a night. Hey, Kane. Hey, how you going? Welcome back. All right, so we've got another spider, and I am almost certain that this one is a male. It's definitely a male Sydney funnel web. He's got his little mating spurs here, smaller abdomen and the thinner legs. Now, I would certainly consider milking a Sydney funnel web spider as being a dangerous job. It is time to extract venom from the Sydney funnel web spider, and it does not look happy. Anytime you're working with an animal that's this dangerous, you're always on edge. It's hard to even talk when I'm doing this. Wow, those fangs are massive. They're huge, aren't they? Because if that spider lunges or jumps further than you think it's going to and it gets a hold of you, I've heard that the pain from a funnel web bite is just excruciating, something you would never want to experience. Oh, wow. It just bit down on that pipe. That was such incredible force. That was crazy. We've had them actually break the glass before Have you they really? hit it that hard, yeah. Just a, another day in the office, right? That's right. That's the venom on the side, and then we'll flush that out with some acetic acid. So that's out. probably a pretty good venom yield right there. If you look at that, how many bites, that's not one bite from a male funnel web. That could be six or seven bites. So this pipette now is very, very dangerous as well. We have to be very careful of that. So this is pretty much venom gold when it comes to exactly what you guys will need to create the anti-venom to cure people from being bitten by this spider. 100%. That venom there will go on to save someone's life one day. So it was fun getting to work with Kane again for a second time and going through the process, actually catching a male Sydney funnel web and milking its venom, and hopefully that that spider's venom will in turn save some lives here into the future.